Bessie, give mommy a kiss. Mm. <laughs> hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we're Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. You have sliced your neck open. Eh. Eh. I Did barely... you not change your blade? No, it's been a couple days and I was rushing because I came home, I started trickling water over the ground beef. Trickling? And it was trickling. And I came home to a flood. I guess somehow like the little stopper closed. It's it's somebody else's fault. No, it's, it's not somebody. I left the water running thinking that it was just running over the ground beef, but the sink was draining and you came running in and saying like, you flooded the kitchen. So I was like quickly trying to shave and shaving with a straight razor or, you know, a safety razor does not go doesn't, well with quick. Doesn't look all that safe. Well, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> I thought it stung Bye. a little bit when like I think the hot water started going over it, but. Right. Today's video is going to be a multi-day vlog. So we've been vlogging for the last couple days little clips here and there, things been going on, and then we're gonna finish it up today. We've got a busy week. I have to work today, and then uh, we're going to Universal Studios. I'm so excited. I'm so excited we're getting out of here. So they had a thing that, like as an annual pass holder, we can actually go before they open up to the general public. But you had to get your reservation. You had to make a reservation. So we're going on Thursday, which means this week's Thursday live stream isn't going to be on Thursday. It's nope. going to be on Wednesday. Also, don't forget that we're live streaming on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday at 6 p.m. to celebrate the new year and, and 10,000 subscribers. 10,000 subscribers with some giveaways. Yeah. So this is something that I had to put on this morning because these little guys are getting really good at using their feathers. Aren't you guys? Chook, chook. Look at that. They are just really feathering out beautifully. So I'm gonna roll this back and give them their morning eggs. It's actually kind of amazing to me how keto these guys really are. So they love these diced up eggs. Um, obviously I don't serve it to them super hot because I don't wanna burn their little chicky mouths, but I have mint and parsley and oregano on top, no salt. They're not supposed to have a bunch of salt, but um, some of those other herbs diced up very finely. Chuk, 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 chuk. As you can see, they absolutely freak out over eggs. And then something that I just started this morning is this mealworm thing, like a little brick. It, it looks like the ones that you would put outside for you know, birds that you would want to feed like wild birds, but it's actually specially blended for chickens and it's got a bunch of bugs in it and they are just enjoying kind of having that um, puzzle. They like food puzzles. There is not a shot in the dark that I am ever going to be able to cook these chickens. Oh no. Oh my gosh, no. They're my babies. While I spent four days studying for the drone pilot's license exam, actually it was three days because I didn't turn on the computer to look at anything yesterday. Anyway, I'm on my way right now to go take the test. It's a written test. You can't bring anything in, not your phone, not even a pencil. The only thing I'm allowed to bring in is my eyeglasses, which I'm wearing, and I can bring in a magnifying glass because you gotta be able to look at the charts. So here goes nothing. 
Well, I came out to some rainy weather, but who cares? Because I passed. I got a 97%. That's only two questions wrong. That's not bad considering, like, I only studied for like two, maybe three days at most. So now I get to go home. I'm going to tell Rachel and find out what my budget is to actually get a drone. So I got caught in the rain at Publix. I needed to run and get some groceries for my mom. And I'm stuck here for a second. And I really want to get home because Joe is taking his test and I want to see how he did. I can't wait to find out. Okay, so moment of truth. Let's go inside and see, oh, hello. And see how Joe did. Ooh, don't even look at my laundry. Look at that, that's horrible. Let's see if we can find him. Is he at his desk? Hey! Hey. All right, how did you did? I failed. You failed? For real? Yeah. I'm sorry, are you okay? I got two wrong. Are you being serious right now? I have 97%. Wow, good job. All right, it's time to party and celebrate. What's my budget to buy a drone now that I have a license? $5. <laughs> Can't get much for $5. Well, we'll see. You know, you are very like, you know, you're, you've got ingenuity. I, I feel like you could do it. <clears throat> So I'm so excited. My drone is coming today. I got it from this place online called drone-works.com. I'll leave a link down in the description. Uh, they were really cool. I was messaging back and forth with the owner for like 20 minutes asking him all kinds of questions and he answered everything. But here's the thing. He sent it overnight, Federal Express, and so I'm waiting for it. Here's the problem. The doorbell battery for my ring it went dead. So now I have to hang out outside because I don't want to miss it. So what am I doing? I'm vacuuming out my truck. So you learn the most interesting things when you clean your car and accidentally hit buttons. Did you guys know that Sirius XM has a channel called the Calm Channel? I feel like a kid before Christmas waiting for this thing. I mean, I don't know what else to do. I've cleaned my car. I cleaned out the garage. Now I'm just looking for bird perches because we moved Grayson outside, but I want to have a nice big stand so that he can stay inside all day long. I feel like a kid before Christmas. Look at this. Wow. You know what the really stinky part is right now? Why? I can't even go fly it. Why? Because I got to charge the batteries. Oh. <laughs> this is awesome. Look at this case. This thing is awesome. I cannot wait to go fly this thing. Well, Joe is pretty happy right now. It is the inaugural flight. He's waving to the Amazon Prime guy because we are basically on a first name basis with them. But this is the inaugural flight of his drone. Here it goes. So if it was me running this, it would already be into a tree. Pretty sure. Did you call the airport and let them know that you would be flying today, sir? Yeah. Good job. You just got your license. I don't want you getting it revoked. So here is my morning coffee for this Sunday morning. I have filled this giant 34 ounce, I think it's 34 ounces, blender bottle with ice and I made some of this amazing Black Rifle Coffee Company coffee gunship. I love it. And I'm just going to pour the hot coffee right into it. All the way to the top. And put a couple drops of this Lakanto um, vanilla flavored monk fruit. It's actually really good. 
it just gives it kind of a vanilla flavor and it sweetens it up and my coffee's ready to go. What you doing? Gotta go to work. It's a Sunday morning. I really don't want to go to work on a Sunday morning, but we got to get the church cut because we're going to Universal this week. Yay! So I'm dragging a little bit because I was up till like three in the morning working on a video and doing some stuff. So I'm dragging. I'm having a pina colada zip fizz in our two crazy ketos bun because this is going to keep it nice and cold for the morning. And I'm going to eat some breakfast. I'm going to have a perfect keto bar. What flavor? This is the chocolate chip one. This one and the birthday cake are like my favorite too. So it's about 10 15, right about the time that Anthony and I would normally be on our Sunday morning date, but Joe and Anthony had to cut the church this morning. So in my free time, I'm dyeing my hair because I cannot take the grays anymore. There is not enough root concealer to make them go away anymore. So I'm just dyeing it. It's just, it's happening. Wow, it is hot out there. At least it feels hot. I mean, according to the temperature on my radio, it's only 83 degrees, but believe me, it feels a lot hotter. It's definitely very humid. I'll have to look up what the actual temperature is and put it down here on the screen. But uh, yeah, it's hot. I am sweating. But good news is, is that is probably the fastest Anthony and I have ever cut this church. I guess that's what happens when you're working on a day you don't want to. You just get through it really quickly. I mean, we did a good job, but we did like not stop at all. The only thing we have left to do is blow off the entire church, but we got all the cutting, we got all the weeding done. So we're gonna finish blowing off, then I'm gonna go home and probably jump in the pool. Where's mommy? <laughs> sit, sit. Good girl. Where is mommy? Where is she? She's not in with the chickens, which is really surprising. I'm gonna go find her. That's a little close. Let's go find her. Let's go find, let's go find her. Is she in her she shed? Is she in there? I'm home. Hello. What are you doing? We're just having some chick bonding time. Wait a sec. There's no animals allowed in this she shed according to you. You better close the door or we're gonna have a dog in here. She's very jealous. You need to let her in her cage or in her she shed. No, sorry. It's a she shed. She's a girl. She should be allowed in here. That's true. What are you doing? Hannah and I are just having a little bit of bonding time. Just cuddling. Something is seriously wrong with you. Probably. Nobody is supposed to be this attached to a chicken. But look how sweet. How can you not be attached? Are you ready to eat? I am so ready. What time is it? It's like 3.20. I like the 4K on the phone. Getting nice and close. <laughs> Do you see all of my like open pores? I know how to get Rachel out of the bed. Lunch time, but Lunchtime. you can't eat it in here. Wait, why? Because you gotta come sit at the counter. Okay. Lunch time, only meal we're gonna have today probably. New flavor. Brand new flavor Quest Chips. This is spicy sweet chili. 140 calories, 4.5 grams of fat, 19 grams of, of protein, five total carbs, one gram of dietary fiber, four net carbs. We like these once in a while. How do they taste though? Because it's low total carb. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Are they good? Mm -hmm. So now somebody messaged us, do they have the cleanest ingredients in the world? No. No. But it's like a maybe once a week thing that we have these. It's got a protein blend, which is milk protein isolate, cornstarch, it's got some psyllium husk, uh, vinegar powder, soluble corn fiber, the worst thing that I find in here is the high oleic sunflower oil. I mean, what? and the cornstarch is eh, but that's all part of the flavorings and stuff. I don't mind them once in a while. What I really like about it is it's got a lot of flavor. Like they have yeah. a lot of seasoning on it, which yep. is good. Okay, so lunch time. We're having basically a taco bowl. Taco bowl. A whole pot, most of this is lettuce. It looks like it's a lot, but there's a giant pile of lettuce underneath here. Ground beef, cauliflower rice, which was cooked in bacon fat. Mm -hmm. um, and the leftover grease from the hamburger. a Little bit of salsa, a little bit of sour cream, a couple slices of bacon because I had it and one of our cheese crusts. Wow, that tastes good. 
So I went on Instagram. Okay. And I went on Facebook group and I asked. Here's the question I put out. So I got my drone yesterday and it got me thinking if somebody offered to buy you a new toy. Something like a, a toy, drone that like you didn't a drone, need. Right? There's no dollar cap. But it can't be something practical. Like you can't say like I'm going to buy and have, I need a new house. Yeah. Or I want to move. It's, it's got right. to be something that you would never spend money on for yourself. What? If, no dollar cap. No dollar cap. And you're like a cheap person, but think there's no dollar cap. Okay. What are you spending money on? What, do you, what is your one, like, toy? I'm just going to go right out there and say probably a pop-up camper. Because we don't need that. I don't even know how often we would have time to use it, but I love playhouses and it feels like it would be a mobile Why playhouse. Why not pop a camper though? Why not just buy a whole motorhome? Because it's not camping. Right. Because. What does Chris call it? Glamping. It's glamping. I don't know. I'm enamored by the pull behinds. Okay. Well, let's read what some people said on our Facebook group. Len said. A I motorcycle. Mmm. That's a toy for sure. Yep. I like Lucy's. Lucy put up, she said, is a water park practical? Because I would build the water park in my backyard. We were always adding water stuff to our yard. Now, it wasn't a fancy water park, but it was like we had the pool. You didn't want to be our neighbor. Sprinklers. We had all kinds of slip and slides and toys because yes. I wish we had pictures of one time park. where we took chairs, put a tarp down in our front yard, even though we had a pool in the backyard. Yep. And we put chairs and basically built an inverted fort and filled with water. We basically built a pool out of a tarp and chairs. I'm totally with her. I think a water park is awesome. That's brilliant. You want to do a couple more before we eat? Yeah. I'm already eating, so. Jesse said, "Hey Jesse, a 1964, 1964 and a half Ford Mustang, candy apple red. Oh man, yes. Kathleen's with you. She said a camper hey, small enough to be pulled around by her SUV. Thank you. Yes. Okay, Dale wins. Hey Dale, a cruise to Florida so we can spend time at your church and hang out with you guys. <laughs> I was not prepared for that." How sweet. That is oh so my awesome. Goodness. Thank you very Thank much. You. But we're I nothing would, special. I would love that too. Jamie said she's drooling over a Glowforge laser printer cutter and engraver, which Ooh. I have seen. It's like $3,000. And it, what does it do? It basically does everything. So you can, it'll engrave things. It, it'll it do printing things. Like metal it's and a, wood? Yeah. So like you could put an iPad in and engrave on it. Whoa. Yeah, it's it the thing is really, really cool. Mm -hmm. Uh and then um uh, Katrina said a 3D printer. That would be fun. Yeah, because I can't think of anything practical that I would personally do with a 3D printer, but it would be just kind of cool to have. I would just be making balls. Trisha said a Peloton treadmill. Oh wow. That is awesome that you want that. It's awesome you want that. I don't know if that's a toy. I guess wow. maybe it's a toy. It, it, that would be just like she torture is for me. That's way like a torture device. Awesomer than I am. <laughs> that is awesome. So we've been redoing our front room slash studio. It's not really a front room anymore. It's kind of a studio because there's the outside. Sorry about the blowout. But we basically moved this table, which used to be all the way back here, like where these lights are. We moved it all the way forward, so about six feet, and I got a new camera lens. So the camera is much further away from us. So we're gonna see how this goes. Changed out the TV, got our lights, got my computer, because we have a new live streaming uh, encoder coming soon. So we're gonna be able to like preview a bunch of different things on here. But then we also have the monitor up there that tells us like all the comments and stuff. So Christopher, hey Christopher, said that he wants an outdoor kitchen with a smoker, a griddle, a gas grill, a charcoal grill, a sink, a fridge, the works, or a food truck. Now you said it's supposed to be a toy, and that all sounded like essentials to me. They do sound like essentials, but I know Christopher, and they're a toy for Christopher. So Shannon said, hey Shannon, she wants a yacht. She said she loves seeing the world and would need room for her extended family. I want to ride on that boat. 
So the next one is from Gianna. Hey, Gianna. Gianna said she wants a small jet with a pilot to travel on a whim. Okay, so it was brilliant to include the pilots. Yes. Because you can have a plane but no pilot. Yeah, but I could pilot it. No. No, Gianna, do not I'm let him really, in your plane. Come on. I'm flying a drone. No. The next step not is to become a pilot. same thing. Anthony wants to do it, too. He said he would split us with the plane. He, he would pay for half the plane. He can absolutely get his drone license. No. But not the plane thing. We want to fly. No. That's it's, nice. It's safer to fly than it is to drive. You don't see... We yeah. always... What do we tell the kids all the time? It's not your driving I worry about. It's everybody else on the road. Well, when you're in the air, it's only you you no. have to worry about. Mm -mm. Mike said... Hey, Mike. I'd love to receive a national bank as a gift. Or is that considered too practical? That is not practical at all. That's perfect. <laughs> okay. So, Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. We got to teach you to dream. Uh-oh. Stephanie said, the cheapest Blackstone there is or a cheap cruiser bicycle because I hate for other people to spend money on me. Aw, how sweet is she? <laughs> so 13 years old and he's still the king because he just jumped up here, licked Charity like, I'm going to be your friend and then beat the crap out of her and kicked her off the bed. Mm. Roscoe. Psst. Roscoe. He's like, leave me alone. What are you doing? Do you hear those birds? I'm trying to find you a stand so that you can just be out on the stand all the time. What are you doing? Grayson. You coming out? No? Uh, I feel like it's like midnight and I think it's like 7.30. It does feel like midnight. What time is it? 8.30. It feels like midnight. It feels like midnight. Maybe because it's a Sunday. I might turn off because I was cutting today. Like I don't usually cut on Sundays. And got a lot accomplished today. So Joe is being really good. I am ending the night with a keto pine bar. I'm not being really good. I plan on having a keto tail ice cream. <laughs> so tomorrow is June 1st, because today is Sunday. So we're restarting the year tomorrow. Tomorrow. So that means what for you? That means it's time to exercise. Okay. Not because exercising is going to make me lose a bunch of weight. It's that exercising keeps me focused. Like, I feel like there's business. We're not just pajama pantsing this. That sounds good. What about you? Um, I don't know yet. I'm still working on a resolution. I'll know by tomorrow on Keto on the Couch what my resolution is. So we have New Year's resolutions because, yes, it's June 1st, but it's the new year because we're starting the new year over again. So what are you going to do? Are you going to do cleaner keto? Yep. Are you going to exercise? Mm -hmm. Are you not going to snack? Are you going to intermittent fast? What are you guys going to do? So let's see if we have any more. There was one, it was Ara's over on Instagram. Okay. What's a tank? You mean like? A real tank. Like an army tank or yes. like a fish tank? No, a tank. Okay. So Susie. Hey Susie. Wants a pair of alpacas. Wow. I bet they'd be like really super friendly and fuzzy. And Gabrielle said she would get a boat. Mm. You really would have to have no budget because everybody I know that's owned a boat, it's like, bring on another thousand, B-O-A-T. See, I grew up with boats because we lived on the water and I would love to have a boat living down here in Florida, but for me, I think I'm spoiled because growing up, we lived right on what would be considered down here, the intercoastal waterway. So, so you could leave it in the water. The, wa the boat was in the water from basically Memorial Day until like mid-October. And dad would come home. We'd go out on a boat ride. We'd go fishing every day. And then once I was like 13 years old, I was able to take the boat out. So it was nice because you had full access to the boat. No. Living where we live now, the problem is you if you don't live on the time. water, I don't even care about cleaning it. Cleaning I it is nothing. It's it's enough because we didn't even again we left it in the water. We would paint the bottom, and then once a year you had to take it out and scrape the bottom. They had a special kind of paint. But 
for me, it's if you want to have a boat where we live, that means you have to store it somewhere or store it down the side of your house. Are you like being a little messy there? I'm being a lot messy. So, but then every time you want to go out on the boat, you got to It's a production. Hook it up. You got to go down to the launching ramp. You got to launch it. Then you got to come home. And that to me is like it's it's you're not going to use it nearly as much as if you actually live on, on the water. water. Another person Amy said decked hey. out sprinter van for camping. Nice. Debbie. Hey Debbie. Wants an infrared sauna, an in-home massage chair, spa quality, and a restaurant grade espresso coffee machine. Yes. <laughs> Debbie is absolutely on on it. Yes. One more. We have uh, Sandra said uh, hey, Sandra. a few ideas. My first thoughts are a fancy new iPad mm -hmm. and a Vespa. Ever since I watched Roman Holiday, always wanted a Vespa. <laughs> Those are super cute. So that's going to be today's vlog because Rachel's going to have to go take a shower after eating her ice cream <laughs> bar. It's true. So tomorrow morning, but it'll be passed for you guys, is Keto on the Couch. We're gonna live stream every day this week. We already said at 6 p.m. We're gonna celebrate 10,000 subscribers and Thank it's you a guys. new year. So excited. So we're really excited about that. Uh, don't know who each giveaway is yet. You guys will find out on the day of the giveaway. Almost like us. Almost like us. <laughs> Let us know down in the comment section some other ideas that we can have is like poll questions for our vlogs. I think it kind of makes it fun. What would you like to know everybody else's thoughts on? Yeah. Please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time I make a mess, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.